Hi friends and welcome to one of the most requested videos ever. I got quite a few uh, surprisingly DMs, not actual comments, uh, to film my Gian Vito Rossi collection. And this was on my list anyway and I actually have a free day today so I said okay I'm gonna tackle my pairs. Rossi is my favorite designer and you probably didn't know but I'm sure you know this the name Sergio Rossi. Sergio Rossi is actually Gian Vito's father and Sergio Rossi was the shoe designer for Versace in the 90s and when Gian Vito was kind of like old enough and wanted to strike out on its own he started his own brand in 2006 and I think I bought my first pair in like 2007. So I realized pretty quickly that uh, this, his designs and his quality and the way he makes his shoes is made for my feet. So I have been faithful to him ever since. The most famous design by Gian Vito Rossi are of course the Plexi. I have now four pairs, but one pair is still on the way, so I'm gonna show it to you in the next video. But this is the Plexi suede gray shoes. These were actually my first because I wanted to try with suede variations first before I tried the patent leather and these ones are amazing still. They are pretty good condition. I don't drive in suede shoes, I take care of that, but in the rest of the high heel shoes I do drive. So these are quite old but I still love them and wear them a lot and these are two to size for my feet. The next plexi pair you saw in my short video not long ago because I actually finally was able to try away the dupes and I got the original Jean Vito Rossi white plexi shoes. I wear a lot of white shoes during the summertime. It's just my style and I, I know I have a lot of outfits that I actually prefer having white shoes than any other color so I knew that for me it's definitely worth getting the original the designer but it was always a problem either they were sold out of my size or they were in Australia or somewhere far away so the customs and attacks would be insane so I just waited and waited and finally this year I managed to get this pair. The next plexi pair that I have are this black patent leather iridescent. You can see there is like, you know after the rain in puddles when you can see like a rainbow on top of it, this is exactly the way this looks. So this is like a twist on the usual black patent leather variations. I got these at Luisa Via Roma. I don't shop there anymore. I usually buy now at My Teresa or at Farfetch. The fourth pair of the Plexi Jean Vito Rossi are on their way. They were supposed to arrive yesterday, but of course they didn't. So I'm gonna film that pair separately and do the unboxing and everything. And the next pair I'm gonna show you now, it's still in this kind of like Plexi variation family, but these are the version of Portofino sandals. You can see the Portofino sandals, which are like the usual strappy sandals for the summer, but this is the variation of them. They have the black cap and of course the plexi part and the very recognizable clasps that go around the ankle. These shoes I love and in case you uh, haven't seen this video I'm gonna link it up here. I talked about how to clean this part because this is one of the things that I really do hate about these shoes because it doesn't matter how much you take care of them, how much you watch where you're walking because you are outside and you are not just on the red carpet the dirt will get in here and you have to be careful and mindful to try to clean it as often as possible because when this gets very dirty it looks it doesn't look nice. Then we have three pairs of court shoes. These ones I got in December, so these again are quite new and I haven't worn them outside yet. I think I had them in the studio once or twice, but I didn't wear them outside. These are the praline uh, color, the nude version, and it's slightly less pink than the satin version. And I know this because I, of course, have the satin version as well. <laughs> So let me show them to you together. So both of those shoes are called, the color is called praline, but this is patent leather, this is satin. And you can see when you compare them, then one is much more pink than the other. So they are both considered nudes, of course, but the satin one is much more pink than the nude one. When you think about satin shoes, you probably have the idea that they are very delicate. Well, of course, I wouldn't wear this in the rain and I try to avoid driving, even though I do have a carpet in my car, so it's not like rubber. It's a nice quality carpet, but still with satin shoes, I wouldn't recommend driving. But I had this pair now for probably five, four, 
four years I think well let's say I have it for years and I wear it a lot and it's still like new there's nothing that shows damage apart from the sole of course and it's just amazing quality so satin shoes are not as delicate as you might think just you know use your head don't wear them in the rain and mud and things like that and you should be fine the next court shoes are of course classic black pumps i'm actually considering selling this because the heel is about 11 centimeters which is slightly too high for me and i really do not wear them much so i think i'm gonna buy another version with a lower heel and probably sell this uh, these are size 36 they're true to size refurbished at the bottom so there's nothing you have to do with them they have new heels so they're you know good to go and you know if this is something you might be interesting let me know in the comments but i am seriously consider um, selling this because i just the heel is too high for me so i don't really wear them before we move to the summer shoes this is again the quite new addition i think i got those in november i want to say and these are this one are quite different they have thicker heel and round toe i usually prefer the pointy toe but for this design for this heel i think the round toe is perfect these one are still new because again it's still winter time so i couldn't wear them outside so come spring i'm gonna be rocking this soon and i also talked about this in my uh, red shoes videos if you haven't seen it yet my favorite sandals not just jean Vitor Rossi, but my favorite sandals out of all of the sandals i have are this ones i love the combination of fuchsia and orange and they go with so many outfits i was a bit surprised because i, I was not sure how i will be wearing this apart from all white all black and things like that but I actually fit a lot of different items and i love them these are manhattan uh, 105 heel and you have them in many many different colors you can have beige black you know all orange all fuchsia there are like a lot of variations but for me the combination of orange and fuchsia is what makes this sandal so perfect and the design again they're very easy to walk in and they're very very good quality as we know because they are Jean Victorossi and the last pair you've seen before as well these are my Bordeaux strappy sandals I already praised these straps they are really really amazing with these shoes I did drive a couple of times I was bad but I was going to an event that I wanted to drive because I was leaving early and I just didn't want the hassle of taxis and ubers and whatever so I kind of did a mistake and drove in them about three times I think and you can see a bit of damage there but not it's it's only noticeable if you look very close when I'm wearing them you cannot tell that it's slightly scrapped but these again are I really really like this sandals and uh, you know the color is very lovely as well so one of my goals in life are for sure to do some kind of collaboration with Jean Vito Rossi. I love shoes, I love his design and I would love to kind of combine his designs that I already know and own and, and you know wear and do my twists on them. So this is definitely something that I'm trying to achieve sometime in the future, we'll see. But if this is like one thing that I want to do um, with YouTube is for sure do something with Jean Vito Rossi. So if you can help me get there sooner I really would appreciate it but this is definitely my dream uh, because I think he's one of the greatest shoe designers out there thank you for watching my friends have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video